it's Sunday and I wanted to hop on before Monday because last week I ended up not filming anything until the weekend because I had just come back from being on a break and anytime I'm on a break I definitely have a little bit of an adjustment period but I really wanted to get prepped and ready for this work week. So right now I'm going to make a to-do list for the rest of the week. So that way the rest of tonight I can just relax and know that I'll get everything done throughout the week. Just get prepped for the whole week. And so I break it down into categories. First I make to-do lists for everything that I need to get done housework wise, everything that I need to get done self care wise, work and social media wise, and then just my regular work week getting factored in. And so I break those down and I list off everything that I need to get done for that entire week and then I break it down day by day. And so the better I prep beforehand, the smoother the week goes. <laughs> Basically, I woke up at 2.30 because I don't really know why. I was really hot and I also just was like really uncomfortable. And I kind of feel like I don't like the mattress. I feel like it's too firm and I don't know. I'm going to give it the 30-day trial because I have to at least have it for 30 days before I'm even allowed to return it. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and just say that it was a weird night. But it's currently 4 30 ish and so i'm going to get started on folding my laundry which is the one thing that i wanted to get done this morning too and then i'm just gonna get ready for the day and try to leave a little bit early to grab a coffee and we're gonna make it a good day anyways so that's the update for this morning and we'll just see where things go Okay, so I just got ready really quick and I had breakfast and now I'm gonna go grab a coffee and then head into work. It is 6.08 and I need to be in at work at 6.30 so we better make this coffee run real quick. I just got to work and I ordered a iced oat milk latte and I added an extra shot of espresso and then I added soft top or cold foam. I'm not sure they call it different things at different places. That's really good. Good morning. It's Wednesday and today I actually have a training day instead of just going into regular work. The way my job is structured is it's basically they call it like a management training program. And so you're doing six months of management training. So you're it's structured so that way you do get promoted. So today is my management training day number two. And so I don't have to come into the office until eight, but I still got up at five. So that way I would have a little bit of time to film and do some laundry. I used to be a total night person, but then getting up as early as I do consistently, I've kind of become a morning person. I'll have like the most energy in the morning to get stuff done. And then by the time I'm getting home from work, I'm usually pretty drained. So I like to still get up early if I wanna get stuff done. But I think I'm gonna try to get some laundry done. I have about an hour until I have to leave. And I also love training days because they give you free snacks and free lunch. And you just kinda, it's like kind of being back in school. You're just there to sit there and vibe. You don't have to rent people cars. So.
currently Sunday and it's actually a Memorial Day weekend so I still have tomorrow off but I had a long list of things I wanted to get done this weekend and the weekend just kind of slipped away from me so I went to church this morning and then I came back and had a pretty bad headache and so I've just kind of been laying down not really doing much but I still really wanted to get some stuff done I got my dressers in and I wanted to put those together so I sat down and I wrote a list of everything that I want to get done so the first thing that I'm going to do is put together my nightstand I felt like because it's smaller but it's the same exact brand of the dresser it would be kind of a good little practice run okay so I cleared out all of the space where the nightstand is going to go and I pulled out my electric drill they usually come with like a hand pump thing not a hand pump a hand it's not a drill it's not a screwdriver but it's like those dinner break and I changed into a little t-shirt because I was definitely working up a sweat but the nightstands almost finished it's around five o'clock now and all I have left to do for the nightstand are construct the drawers and then it'll be finished and I'll load everything up into it and then I think I'm gonna start on cleaning my bathroom and my bedroom and then I'll see what time it is depending on if I want to start the dresser or not the nightstand was definitely a little easier than I thought it was going to be but it does it's a little bit time consuming I know your mother very well so that's the finished nightstand I really like how it turned out I like that it I feel like it looks like a really good quality and it looks really nice and sophisticated but it actually wasn't too expensive if I have the link I'll link it in the description box I think the nightstand was only I think it was under 200 and then the dresser was under 700 so definitely a little bit pricey but nothing too crazy so I'm really excited because the dresser is basically a perfect match of it it's just a dresser instead of a nightstand so I think everything's gonna turn out really nice but for the rest of the night, I'm going to go clean up my bathroom and clean up my bedroom.
Okay, so I just got back from our young adults group and we have it every Tuesday night and I try to go most nights but because I work so early, it's at seven at night every night and so even though that's like pretty early in the night for most people, I would say it's kind of late for me. Right now it's like 11, so it's very late for me, but I feel like it's important to try to prioritize that and I definitely had so much fun because I feel like the reason that we do work is to have a good quality of life and I feel like relationships are the main part of that but now it is really late and I have to get up early tomorrow so I wanted to just take you along with me through my little quick shortened night routine okay so this is definitely going to be the most basic version of my shower routine so all I'm gonna do is wash my face and wash my body Good morning, it's the next day and I just stopped at Starbucks. I slept until 6, which is an hour later than normal for me, and then I woke up in the deepest sleep. Like, I almost slept through my alarm and then I kind of like woke up half realizing that it was going off. But I stopped at Starbucks and I got my favorite drink right now, it's just the chocolate cream cold brew. And then I also got a banana walnut loaf. I have a few minutes to eat before I head into work so I'm just going to sit and relax and have my breakfast and head in the office. So I was just with our young adult group. It was super fun. We just did like a brunch thing and then we went for a little impromptu neighborhood walk. And I just got home and I folded my clothes and I'm about to iron for the week. So these are all my folded clothes and then this is the stack that I want to iron. And then I have all my hangers right here so I can hang them up as I iron. What I'm gonna do is organize the pantry a little bit. It is on. I just finished ironing and one thing, whenever I finish ironing, I know the clothes can stay a little bit, like they have a little bit of moisture still in them. So I always let them air out a little bit before I put them fully away because then they can get wrinkled again just being smushed up in the closet. So I have a few minutes before I'm going to put everything away. I realized the last time that I showed any update on the little room project. I had finished up the nightstand, but it was really bad lighting, so I was going to show you again in good lighting, and I have it fully decorated, and it looks really good. So this is it. On the top, I just have a little lamp, a candle, and then just a cute little pottery decoration. Then it has this little top section, and I have a little tray in there where I keep my phone. Then I also have a couple of books and a little painting that my sister got for me in Israel. And then it has two little drawers here. So in my top one is just my main nightstand drawer. So I just have the books I'm reading. Then this is just my little bin where I keep my remotes, extra hair ties, probiotics that I take every morning. 
lotion, chapstick, and then I use this as a little coaster that I'll take out in the morning. And then these are satin black pillowcases that go with my sheets. And those ones I only throw on my pillows when I've self-tanned so my white ones don't get stained. And then this bottom one just has all my computer and camera equipment. Mm -hmm. 